home up in the wilderness Left his pack at a young age A hunter and survivalist So skilled at scout and prey He would run for miles in the open fields Into the moon choir soulful howl He would wade in streams, fish and salmon Showing a fear of a bear's growl now Fido loved his master just as much as his bowl of doggy chow. The daily walks were a real treat together with a bowl of sense in town. He had such fun catching a ball and fetching that stick. Rolling over and playing dead were his favorite and proudest tricks. Fido's master would walk him in a forest. One day when Fido was doing his business, he thought he'd look around. He wandered farther than he ever had, and by the creek he saw Lupone devouring his dinner with his formidable jaws. Now that looks much better than my kibbles and bits. Fido introduced himself. It's quite delicious, Lupone replied, after two hours of hunting. Well, that sucks, Fido said. You have to hunt. I've got my dinner for free. Why don't you join me and my master? I've got it real easy. That's what you think, but what's that color for? You are nothing but a slave. I take hard work and uncertainty for freedom any day. They parted ways, each one convinced the other was missing out. Then the seasons changed, another summer came, and then there was a drought. The creek was dry, the fish were too, food hard to find. Lupo thought of his friend, and his pride he resigned. With his mighty nose, he found the house and scratched pitifully at the door. He was welcomed in with a bowl of food and his very own collar. It was a very welcome break, and he soon regained his strength. Almost forgot about his former days beyond the backyard fence. But every night, Lupo would dream of chasing caribou. Sometimes he would catch one, but the dreams always continue. Now the rain did come and the drought did end, and Lupo thought it's time to go back home. But being fenced in, attached to a leash, he could no longer roam. He could no longer bear this restlessness, so one day in their walk on the trail, he saw a she wolf standing there, and he gazed at her in detail. Now the she wolf saw Fido and the man, and she showed a mouthful of teeth. The two of them froze in fear, while Lupo caught it to be. He ran toward that she wolf as his master caught his leash. The two men ran up together, leaving the others in disbelief. Before disappearing into the hidden brush, Lupo turned around and howled. Farewell, my friend, with the easy life. As for me, I'll be free on the prize.